I am so sorry. I had to laugh about You just that. cracked yourself I, that up. Just, I, it tickled me. It tickled you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, absolutely so. Welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Um, yeah. How are you guys doing? Great. Um, so if you would like to follow me on social media, here is my um, Instagram. And um, we'll see if I make a new Twitter when I go on winter break. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos. I don't know what which ones they're going to be, but there might be a video before this or after this. I don't know. I'm filming like pre beforehand. So we'll see about, we'll see about that. So as you can tell from the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about selling sunset season four. I am late, but I am here. I watched it. You think I didn't watch it? No, don't I of course watch Selling Sunset season it was season four, right? I just finished it. I like live watched it on my Patreon. Now I'm gonna talk about it. Don't even worry about it. But before we get into today's video, today's video is sponsored. Today's sponsor for today's video is NordVPN. Thank you so much again to NordVPN for continuously supporting my channel. So if you didn't know if you don't know what NordVPN is, it's a VPN company. If you don't know what VPN is, it's basically, I've described this like literally 10,000 times, but you're basically in secret mode on the internet. You can browse on the internet in whatever country you'd like to be in. You can watch different shows from different countries. I'll explain that a little bit, I'll explain that a little bit more later. So the way I use NordVPN is the same way every single time because I like to watch things. I like to watch TV and I like to watch movies. And sometimes you get bored with your current catalog on whatever streaming server that you use. So what you can do is go, is foreign. Let's go to other countries. And you can do that with NordVPN. You can change your where you are in the internet universe to a different country and you can watch all the programming from that country. You can watch you can watch other things like Modern Family on different I know Modern Family is on Netflix now, but on different Netflix once it goes off, you can watch Scream Queens, The Fosters on like Canadian or Brazilian Netflix, things like that. You can also see if shows release earlier in a different country on a streaming platform, you can change your VPN to said country and you can watch your show early if you would like to. Um, so Nord why you should choose NordVPN for your v for your VPN service. NordVPN has super fast servers, up to six simultaneous connections, and there is double data encryption for increased anonymity and there is a 30 back money day guarantee so if you don't like it get out you can get out it also protects your data while you're traveling in case you're someone who travels a lot and there is a cyber security suite which acts as an ad blocker so none of those pesky ads and there is also 24 7 customer support so if you ever get stuck with something you can hop on your keyboard and you can ask a question so if any of that interests you, you can click the link in my description box or in the pinned comment to get a two-year plan plus an additional month free for a humongous discount. And thank you so much again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into the video. All right, so we're back in today's video. So today we're talking about season four of Selling Sunset. I forget when this came out. It might have come out like a month ago. Where's my mirror? It might have come out like a month ago. I don't know. I've been watching it. I rewatched it all, um... I rewatched it yesterday, the day of my final. Um, rewatched the whole thing. Okay, so before I get into like each character, I want to talk. I want to talk with you um, telepathically, I guess, about what our thoughts on season four compared to other seasons. Now, for my uh, the best of me, I'm not exactly sure everything that happened in the first three seasons as of right now. I cannot give you a detailed summary, but I feel the emotions. Don't worry about it. Season four, I thought it was good. I thought it was very, I was like, I was very excited for the introduction of a new character, of Emma, a new person. However, it was the Christine show again, Christine as the villain again and again and again. And my question is, does no one else want to take her throne? That's why I was really excited for a new person to come. It didn't really go that way, but we'll see if it changes, you know, in the future. So I guess we can just go character by character. Use your mirror, not the camera. So I'm just going to go character by character, and then I guess talk more about the show generally at the end. And lines. The first two characters I want to start off with is the twins, Brett and Jason. I have no thoughts. Okay, wait, hold on. Um, one, I can tell them apart now. I can tell them apart now, so I would like congratulations in order. I would like congratulations. The only thing I can speak on is what disgusted me at the end of that season finale. I don't, I, okay, I don't really care. Um, I, that was Jason. I'm pretty sure that was Jason. I don't really care if they're dating or whatever or whatnot, but um, I don't like it personally. Um, he's a little scary. And 
also like I think she can do better but I'm not gonna to tell I'm not gonna tell Kershaw what to do so I'll leave that alone and I have no thoughts on Brett I have no I have no thoughts on them I, I'm, I'm sorry they don't do much they don't really do much they don't really say much either so I have no thoughts so I'm gonna move on the next person that I would like to discuss is Maya I think my two-timing secret agent queen I kind of like it you know sometimes it can be like hmm are you being a little bit of a flip-flopper or are you actually being like a little secret agent I think she's teetering more on the secret agent side because she I think she's trying honestly to get all this to stop there's a way to be play both sides honestly and be classy about it and there is a way you just spread the knowledge to everyone Maya is not above spreading getting knowledge from anyone and spreading it to anyone she just wants a good environment to work in and wants the benefits of both sides because honestly Christine is crazy Christine seems like she's we will get to her in a second but she wants you out of there she'll kind of get you out of there she wants you out of there and she plays on the benefits of both sides and she plays it pretty well it's possible to do that it's possible to be a two-timer basically and reap the benefits and not have everyone hate you but the other girls can't do that they aren't organized enough they're not organized enough they don't say things the correct way um and Maya does and Maya they don't see her as like a threat because she doesn't yell the way they do um that's probably your egregious error because I don't think they know that they like pissed Maya off severely I don't really think she's one to you know roll over and let you do whatever so I hope they don't in thinking than that and then last thing about Maya cannot believe she's pregnant again can't I my jaw hit the floor pregnant again I'm not telling her I'm not telling her what to do that's crazy was she, she not pregnant the last season? Was she not? Did I make that up? She was pregnant the last season or the second season. She was pregnant literally five months ago. That's really crazy to me. But I like her. She hates beating around the bush. She's also a very good instigator. Basically, when she's like, all right, we have been talking about, we've been having the small talk for enough. You know why we're here. We're here to talk about this person. And she always gets us there faster. We never have to wait. We never have to wait and worry and listen to just a bunch of fodder when we're waiting to get to the tea. Maya will get us there on time. And for that, I like her. I do. It's messy. But you can be messy and have, you know... A way of doing it it can work okay that's all my thoughts on Maya I have like she's fine next person I want to talk about is Amanza okay the only th I like Amanza I do like Amanza um, one sh friends with Christine that's weird I'm not gonna tell you what to do that's weird <laughs> I'm sorry that woman no I don't know why I'm gonna talk about this with, with other with other people in a minute why they think Christine won't do it to her slash why they think that everyone else is making things up about Christine when they see it with their own eyes like why aren't you making the connection between does crazy things is a bad person that and you should not want to be friends with I don't know why it's taking them so long but it's all right back to Amanda I feel I don't know but I felt it was just it was just strange I guess is the only word I can use to describe it to see her going through her stuff with their problems also like just going back and forth like we go from Amanda like crying because her ex called CPS on her oh my god to like them selling a house okay that was it to them just like talking about this really pretty house and i know what the show is but it, i don't know i don't know i just said it was strange not a bad thing but like it was just jarring because she was going through some real 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 shit real 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 shit like and then whenever she talk about what's going on with her husband with her um ex no one would really get it except for Mary so I'll give Mary some credit and they just cut from her talking about her deadbeat ex abandoning his kids they cut from that to another super pretty house the neon sign over a bar and I'm like all right we could we could we could do have a transition a little bit we could have more scenery before we just go back to the regular just we're back at a real estate reality show because I don't know it was a crazy the only time like I remember them having 
her being able to have an actual conversation about what everything that was going on that didn't just at least to me again I'm watching a television show so I don't know everything I didn't that felt worthwhile was the one she had with Mary of all people Mary of all people who I'm, I'm, I'm don't let me not let me not let me talk about her later so I feel like that's kind of sad I think that's kind of sad and I know I'm like I know she's like I um, being friends with Christine, I don't know if that's gonna, if that's gonna do what you think it's gonna do, Amanda. I don't know if that's the route to go, especially when you, you're clearly going through something and you need someone to actually talk to you about emotions and feelings. I don't think Christine is, is, is capable of doing that. Like, I, I really don't, I really don't think she's capable of hearing what you have to say about your feelings. I feel like she'll self implode. Or make fun of you? One of the two. One of the two at this point. So those are my thoughts on Amanza. I hope life gets better for her. And it will. I want to hear for as much as she was like going through or like things that she was going on she wasn't not just that she wasn't in this season a lot but whatever it was just a lot of like I feel like there's a lot of people on this show you we could hear more about other things happening in other people's lives that is not like Christine is evil again I get it I got it season one I don't know why it's taking you guys so long to get it, but that's okay. It's okay. Next person I want to talk about is Heather. Um, we saw considerably less of Heather this season, and for that, I am forever grateful. Sorry if there are Heather stands in the midst. I don't really know what you're standing, but I, I don't really, I don't, I'm not going to harp on your mellow. Continue to do whatever you want to do. Um, she got a ring, so congratulations, I guess. I won't have to hear about that anymore. So that's nice. I knew the guy that she brought for Chriselle was going to be a mess. I'm just, Heather doesn't keep good company. So I knew the man that she brought for Chriselle was going to be a mess. And look, look, look what happened. A mess. A mess. I am really, really, this is where I, it's not that the season was too short. It's just that nothing happened. So, okay, well, things happened, but the, I was like, where's the rest? When like the season finale happened, I was like, okay, now can we, can we, because it was felt like a build up to something. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm interested to see how she's going to navigate Emma because so we just seen them like interact like a little bit thus far because I know her focus has, the focus has been like, oh, on Christine. Oh, look, there's a new, new potential queen bee coming. What is she going to do? But I'm wondering, is Heather not even going to try to throw her foot in the ring? I'm wondering if the rest of them are going to let it be the Christine versus Emma or if someone else is going to stand up and, and want to take something from themselves. Because Heather used to talk a lot of talk about how much better she is than Christine. Where's my brush? So I'm wondering if she's going to do it. She's not really, per at least to me, she's not really interesting enough to be a queen bee, but I've seen much more delusional and boring people attempt one, to attempt to be one. So I feel, I'm like, why not? Why not try? And at least she's like good at her job a little bit. Ugh. I, like, I don't really, I don't really know who this man is that she's like engaged to or whatever's going on over there. Not too sure, but like, that's the only thing she snot nose cries over is what, it, I don't know, I forgot what Christine said about her man. It was probably mean, but like, okay, okay. But I feel like Christine has done worse. Well, I feel like Christine has done worse. So I really wasn't, I really didn't care. Also, I'm like, yes, Christine said bad things about her man. That's all right. But compared, like she was, like it was not the same thing that Christine has been doing to other people. And I don't really think it's in the same realm. She didn't even say it about you. She said about your man. I know, you, I know, I know, I know, I know, I get it. But I think Christine has done worse stuff. And it's not exactly equal what happened to you versus what happened to like Chriselle, for example. And I don't think you should act like they are equal. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So those are my thoughts on Heather. Let me get my blush out before I talk about this, this loser. Mm. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. 
Okay, I have to get just one more blush. I mixed three blushes now. It gets the perfect color. I mix, I'm gonna write them in the description box, I always do. But it's like this, it makes this like really, because some corals don't have enough orange for me, so I add orange. Anyway, next person we're going to be talking about is the one and the nobody, um, Davina. Um, you know, you can grow out of being a loser. Let me first start this off by saying it is very possible to escape from loserdom. It is very possible to exchange um, hatred and, you know, self-loathing for respect and dignity. You can do that. She did not. I don't, can your nose get browner, Davina? I don't think so. So issue one out of 10,000. First of all, what do are the, are the white girls get the, with, with when they, the hair, baylage? She thinks a, is, is, I hope that's what it's called. She thinks a baylage saved her personality. No. The three inch curl baler is not fitting your, fixing your shitty personality. People didn't want to hang out with you, not because you were not fabulous, it's because you were a bad, like, you're kind of awful to be around. You exude sadness. You exude cloud, basically. Face filter number seven is not making you look more fabulous. It has to come from within. And this is why I clocked her teeth from the very beginning. She showed up in a whole new outfit, new hair, new face filter, blah, 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 blah. I clocked it. She was not even comfortable with the new transformation. She was not, she was not. And that's why I'm surprised. I'm surprised, honestly, because Christine is mean. I'm surprised Christine has not said anything about how like physically uncomfortable she is clearly with this new glamour. Would I call a clip in bow from a school uniform company glamour? Not personally, but I know what she was trying to go for. That's so sad. That's so sad. And she thought it looked good. I'm not gonna, I'm, let me move on. So I'm so that's like maybe she Christine likes seeing that you're changing so much about yourself that's why you're so uncomfortable like if you're first of all Davina if you're gonna overdress to a coffee shop you might as well own it why did she look like a doe learning to walk for the first time no 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 it, it, it can't it can't work that way if you're gonna walk like a newborn in heels that means we have to practice at home you didn't what you can't you can't it can't be that way it can't be that way and it's sad because I'm like you did all of that to um, get a purpose on the show I guess is the purpose Christine's lackey you don't want to develop your own sort of thing I guess it's easier because Christine is obviously who they're trying to make is like the villain I guess and so you'll always be there if you are in association with said villain but she's not even good at being Christine's lackey because she thought that Christine wanted to hear her own opinion she's not good at any job oh my oh my goodness like who and 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 because what else was her purpose on the show who missed her to, if you can play back any playback Heather is the only person who was like well Davina's a hard worker nobody gives a shit she, nobody gives a shit she was like she showed houses for me and she's a tough woman okay and then everyone else just stared at her so nobody missed you so that their purpose was not to be a part of it the purpose of come you coming back not be part of this family because nobody really missed you you're Christine's lackey uh, it's, I, it makes me sad it makes me sad and I'm like you're not even good at being Christine's lackey because I'm like I thought you signed away your like your identity when you decided to do this transformation now you're Christine's bestie I, Christine only wants yes men how was that not clear? And that's why when Christine was like confused when Davina stated her own opinion, I was confused too. Because I was like, I thought you understood what this relationship was. I thought, I thought at least, I thought she like understood that that's what was happening. Here. And, she, and my question, Davina really was like, um, this will be fine. That's what I got from when she was like sharing like, oh, well, I can't defend everything you do if I don't know exactly situation what's going on. Um... I did just lose my train of thought. Hold on. I thought she knew that Christine wants yes men. 
Because when she said that to Christine, she was like looking like she was expecting Christine to be like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. You can't defend, you can't defend people if you don't know the whole situation. Why would Christine, why would Christine think that, honey? Why would Christine think that? Christine has people, Christine lies like she breathes. Christine lies. It is just, it is, it's not even second nature. It is first nature for her to lie. And she's so comfortable building on top of the lies. Why would she want someone who calls her out on her shit near her? Come. Did, oh, Tofina. That's my, I'm like, did you think you were special enough? Sorry. Do you think you were special enough to like be Christine's actual friend? I don't really know if Chris, if, if Christine does have actual friends, they're not at this brokerage. Christine smelt the imposter in you, the imposter, the imposter in you, because she invented the scent. She can just cover up that insecurity a lot better than you can, because, you know, Christine said she was a loser in high school, and she's, like, doing all this to, like, the life that she always wanted. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to harp on you for that. So she invented the scent, the imposter scent, Davina. She just, ugh is able to own being fabulous a little bit more. I don't like to give Christine much, but she's a fabulous person. Do, 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 do. My last issue-ish with Davina, what is your deal with Chrishell? I, I, need, I need Davina to sit down and like answer this question. What is your problem with Chrishell? Because it, it can't, um, Christine just doesn't like her for whatever reason, but what is your reason for like wanting to dig into Chrishell and almost like ruin her? I'm just really confused. Christine is pay, I'm like, is Christine paying you in anatomic brow pencils for you to be like this adamant about taking Chrishell down? You don't know Chrishell. She doesn't know Chrishell. She, did you really know Chris? Did you, like, she, know her enough to form your own hatred of her is what I'm trying to say. Did, did does Davina, has Davina known Chrishell enough for that long? What, or are you just following what Christine, but this is a lot. To say what she said to Chrishell about, like, you all, we don't, you, you, no one gets married, you get divorced, we don't know your hu your ex-husband's side. To say that to Chriselle, that can't just be, I'm just following the leader, I'm just following Christine. That's crazy to say to a person. That is crazy to say in a person, just digging into the fact that Chriselle's already sad as shit at, like, somebody's wedding. Like, and then she was now, Cr Davina's a messy bitch. Davina was trying to spread that rumor of Chriselle, like, not by, Jason buying, like, putting, what was it? Jason bought the not bought the house. Jason's name was on the deal. I don't know. I'm not a realtor, but Jason's name was on it. She was trying to spread that. She wasn't. At, she was asking, "Have you heard? No. This is what I have heard. Here's information." She was gonna talk down on Chriselle. Trying to talk down on Chriselle's career. What is your issue? What is the issue? What is the issue that you have with her? Because this is a lot. This is a lot for Christine. And e even now, like, Davina's, like, questioning her friendship with Christine. And so if you were going to question it so quickly, it's pretty quick, especially you already knew who Christine was this whole time. Why did you go in on Chriselle like that? It doesn't, ma it doesn't make much sense to me, at least. And knowing that Davina had gone through almost the exact same thing, so you, that's not, your, her relationship's not your relationship. If you want to go talk to somebody about your relationship, go talk to, she doesn't have friends. Go talk to somebody about your relationship. You cannot try to fix Chriselle's, that's not fixing your relationship. You're not fixing anything. Oh, she was just rude. Well, you know, two people make a marriage, honey. It, what happened in yours? Oh, I'm so sorry for whatever happened in yours. Go talk to somebody else about that. And the apology, and she was really trying to like fuck with Chris. First of all, Davina, nobody cares that you're friends with Christine. That is not the reason why you have a just smelly personality. That is not. That's not. Christine is evil on her own. You are a you are a bad person to be around on your own. That's what I should have said. Christine is the reason people don't like you is not because you're Christine's friend. It's because you're Davina. It's because you're Davina. You on your own are bad enough. And nobody told her that. Chriselle is too nice because she, her going to apologize, that fake ass apology, and Chriselle was like, this doesn't feel genuine. Davina was like, I don't know what you want me to do. Okay, we get it. 
after apologizing she immediately tries to deflect blame and is like well you guys treat me differently because I'm friends with Christine she did that multiple times in the show nobody gives a fuck none of these people even liked you before you were friends with Christine don't bl l let me defend Christine it's not Christine's fault that people do not like you <clears throat> you are unlikable all by yourself all by yourself Davina is unlikable you don't need anybody's help you don't need a baylage you don't need roller curls you don't need tape and extensions to be a miserable person you were like that before and my fan is over there I'm not gonna get it I'll just use my hands oh wait 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 Hold, please. Why did they make this fan so complicated to open? <sighs> All right. High tech. Okay, what was I talking about? Davina. Okay, that's it. Those are all my thoughts on Davina. Um, very sad individual, very pathetic individual, you know, the usual. Next is Chriselle. Chriselle is a boss bitch, and that's it. This is a hair transformation. This is an actual hair, trans hair, not really trans, but change that was owned. Chriselle was walking around letting the hair swing. The, she was switching up styles, putting on wigs, putting in exactly. That is how you have a hair boss bitch evolution moment. Not whatever. I was discussing before wearing heels too big for her oh my god to a coffee shop come on back to my point Chriselle it's not that she didn't do much this season Chriselle has said her piece with Christine and this whole season was about Christine as the villain again Chriselle has said her piece Chriselle is done with that woman so she has just been selling houses selling and buying houses doing a job I'm glad she'll that guy on the boat to fuck off. He was such, such, such a weirdo. Again, I don't know about her. I guess her and Jason are dating. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about, I don't know how it's going to shift potentially people not liking Chriselle because am I, am I, am I, are we going to get some jealous moments? Are we going to get, oh, um, Jason's new favorite. Is he going to treat, you know, her, how he used to treat Mary? How, how are we, how is this going to, you know? come to fruition. I'm kind of nervous, but Chriselle will be fine. Chriselle will be fine. And Jason, you will be handled if anything were is to it goes awry. You will be handled. Don't don't worry about it. High tech. So I have like not much else to say about Chriselle. I still love Chriselle. I think she's fun. I think she's fabulous. Um, next person, and we have two new people. I forgot. Next person is Vanessa. I like Vanessa. Bless her heart is all I can say about Vanessa because she, she really, really, really wants to help Christine. Like she actually wants to help Christine. That's great. I left my lip gloss over there too. I'll be back. So all I can say about Vanessa, just bless, she really wants to help Christine and that, that is crazy. Like that's wild. She, not, not like she's crazy or she's wild for wanting to do that, but she really sees hurt. Cause there's very obviously lots and lots of hurt in Christine, but she see, and she wants to like help and nurture her. That is very, very, that's very, very kind that she's a good heart. I just hope she doesn't get burned in the process. I just really hope Vanessa does not get burned in the process. Um, not really for Vanessa's sake, because um, Vanessa said multiple times, I can handle myself if somebody tries me, and I have full confidence in her. I hope for Christine's sake. I hope for Christine's sake. She really just, she really wants Christine to heal. She got has her the whole life coach, mi mindset coach, whatever, and Christine acting like, that mindset coach was all she needed was hilarious girl you need a little bit more than a mindset coach to help to help you it's all right because what your friend mary who was your friend i've been trying to tell you the same shit but it's all right and maybe what she's doing can help but we also just need to just unpack why christine like physically cannot apologize like physically seems unable to apologize every time like 
she's given the opportunity to it's like she can't do it it's like she she literally it's like she has to spit has to spin a web of lies in order to live like she it, it's like she spins like she can't own up to anything she says or does and she says a lot she says a lot and she does a lot and she can't own up to nearly any of it the can the mindset coach help her figure that out but I like Vanessa. She's a good realtor. I was so happy for her when she um, sold that house and she was so happy for me. That was very, very cute. Um, I'm excited to see more. I, uh, I don't know if she's going to stay Team Christine. I think Davina feels like she's going to flip-flop back over and how to become friends with the other girls, um, which will not work out well for her um from for the uh, because of the other girls and because of what Christine probably will want to do to her or something I because she Vanessa was also like I don't really believe Christine but she seems a little bit more willing to like work with Christine and deal with bullshit than the other girls do so we'll see next person I want to discuss is Mary know how I feel about Mary now I think I like her a lot better than I did at the end of last season which is new I just think it, it, not. on one hand you didn't think Christine would burn you too that's foolish that that, that but you, I always have that opinion what did you think was gonna happen but she's also just she seems like kind of sad even though despite she's having her life is together she's doing really well according to her standards but she still feels like she's missing something and I hope she finds it um one because one thing about Mary she's gonna sell a house she's gonna sell a house um she's gonna sell it for a lot of money they're gonna even try to sell us that French Montana someone we should care about like good for you I guess she's an excellent she's an excellent saleswoman well, um she didn't even try to become the new like queen bee um I don't think she can stand on her own to that degree to be a queen bee. I think she has to kind of have a person next to her. But I was actually very, very proud of her for being able to set boundaries. That's a bird. Set boundaries um, and go against Christine at the dog party and to go up and talk to her in the finale. I was like really, I was like, wow. Okay, I think that's why I like Mary more now. I gained some respect for her because she didn't let the girls walk over her again. I'm proud she because she like she could have not done that especially in the finale she I was ecstatic when she brought up Christine's fake engagement because she could have she could have left her alone she could have not she could have actually said it louder but she didn't she was trying to just be she was starting to do just enough she could have not brought up the fake engagement and even her Christine's man was like all right um she just caught you because I don't know what she's talking about so it's time for us to go she got this she got her exact I don't know is Mary the only person who can like give it to Christine the way that Christine gets to other people because she got her like dead up against the wall once she brought up the fake engagement Christine's eyes went up oh, oh, because of course you were not engaged nobody believes you nobody believes you saddest shit in the world so I like Mary now um, I ha uh, uh, the whole five minutes about Romaine's masculinity problems, um, Mary, buy the house that you want to live in. Do it. You want to, you want a really nice house. I can see it in your, you want a really, really nice house. Please. Just do, do it, please. He can, he will get through, he will work through his masculinity problems eventually, perhaps with reading, with self-reflection, possibly therapy, whatever. I think she needs that though. I think you should go for it. I think you should go for it. Uh, Mary. I like her now. Can I say that, that I like Mary now? I don't know. I still don't know, but I have more respect for her than I did at the beginning of the season. I do have much more respect for her than I did at the beginning of the season. Because I don't know. Nobody else is going up to, except for Emma, who I'm about to talk about. No one else is going up and having one-on-one -on -one conversation with Christine and going back and forth with her. I like that. So that's move. Speaking of Emma, the next person I'm gonna talk about is Emma. I okay. What I want to talk about with Emma is how seamlessly she 
in, not even integrated seamlessly into the, she didn't sorry she didn't just integrate seamlessly into this group she walked on and became head girl without a nothing happened it was almost she was almost carried it was so it was perfect because nobody stepped to Emma nobody stepped to her the only person threatened was really Christine because of their whole little history but the others were like I support you in all your endeavors. I'm surprised again that Heather didn't put her foot in the ring a little bit, but Emma gave boss from the start. She didn't even do the whole like, let me be fake vulnerable to get them to like me. No, Emma gave boss from the, from the beginning and was like, I am very good at what I do. I do have a lot of money. I am fabulous, that's it. Sorry. Christine freaked on her, which is on brand. I fully believe what that she's whatever she said Christine did to her that car like screaming at the car Chris that sounds like something she would do so of course I believe her what I I hope we see next season because Emma was talking a lot of talk she was like it's gonna be me and Christine okay so what are you gonna do I that's what I was that's why I was like the season was too short it wasn't too short but I was like in terms of us getting to a conclusion we didn't and I wanted I wanted to see a takedown or a back and forth maybe next season but they look like they want to focus on Jason and Chrishell which let me tell you don't nobody give a fuck about couples engagement mm -mm. I don't know so I hope that's not what we're doing. Back to my point. I would like to see if Emma puts her money where her mouth is. Are you gonna take down Christine? Or are you just going to kind of let her? But she did have that conversation with her. She did go back and forth. She didn't say out loud, hey, you're lying, which I was like, okay, if she was lying, why didn't she be like, that's bullshit when she was talking to you? But I don't really know how Christine would have exactly responded to that. Every time Christine's in a conversation, it's fascinating seeing like, what is she gonna lie about next? Like, what? how are you going to get out of this lie? Like, as Mary and her were having the conversation in the finale, I was like, how are you going to get out of this lie? I'm, like, intrigued. I'm really interested to know how you're going to spin your way out of this one. Because this seems unspinnable. But she does. It's a gift. It's really a gift Christine has for lying. She could do anything. She could do anything, really. Where's my water? Oh. So... I don't know how exactly how how exactly to feel about Emma until I see her do something if that makes sense do something do something and the final person we are discussing today is Christine. Still ridiculous, but still fabulous, I guess. <clears throat> I have a couple just quick things gathered before I talk about her. If I... <sighs> How many times did we need to hear about Christine's body in this show? In this season? How many times did it have to be brought up how her body snapped back? I don't... It was every day. It was... I think she literally made them sign a contract and be like, you cannot start a conversation with me unless you mention my body. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That was too much. It was every... It was every conversation. You couldn't get through one conversation. We don't care. We don't care. Christine's mess this season made even less sense than the stuff before. Like, the great, the tea of this season was her boyfriend from a decade ago. And she wants to win over Heather so, not Heather, sorry, Emma so bad that she makes up a fake engagement to a man she was dating 10 years ago. Oh, that's sad. It, it makes it makes it makes no sense. Here's the thing, though, with Christine and Emma, acting like she didn't know Emma was kind of the only thing she could do. For in, if we are using Christine's state of logic, right? If we're using Christine's state of logic, that's the only thing she really could have done. Because had she acknowledged Emma's existence, then she'd have to answer for the crazy shit that everyone knows that you did. 
And she didn't really, and Emma would have caught her probably in a lie. And that's why she wants to talk to everyone individually, because she still wants to lie. But, like, walking past Emma and not acknowledging her at all wouldn't have made it dig into Mary as much that Christine ignored her. And Christine, seemingly, you would, I was like, is was Emma who Christine was going on all season? Not really. Christine turned, once she saw, once at that part, was it the dog party? Once at that party, Christine saw she really couldn't get into Emma like that. She turned, she said, all right, next person, Mary, why the fuck do you hate me? Despite, despite doing all kinds of bullshit to her all the time, driving her up the wall. That was when she said, oh, I can't get this one. So I'm going to go back and harp on my ex-best friend. Sadness. Sadness galore. She was like, Mary shunned me when I brought my baby. Why, if you didn't invite someone to your baby shower, why would they come up and touch your baby? That would be, um restraining order. Why, why would you, why would, that Mary has class. You didn't invite her to your baby shower. Why would she go up and touch your baby? She would look crazy. She would look crazy. And you know Christine probably would have called the police on her. You, you guys, let's be realistic with ourselves. Let's be realistic with ourselves. So I don't know why she was lying about that. She really just lies. And she doesn't even like fault. No flinching. No like... All, sometimes you just see something in her eyes and that's like it. It's crazy. She was victimizing herself when she crashed a party. She didn't crash it, but you knew Mary would not like you being there because you have been being mean and shady to Mary this whole time. So obviously she's going to be a bit upset. And now she's, she's like, Mary, what, did Mary run away? That little voice that she does. Where did Mary? Ah. Oh, now I have to send 10 tones down and defend Mary because you because Christine has her all kinds of fucked up. She does. She does. And she was just lying, talking to Emma. And then she sees that Emma is still not jealous of her. Emma does not give a fuck. And she's like, oh, shit, let's fabricate a humongous lie, a fake Christine. I think I thought Christine. Here's the thing. I was about to say Christine's a better, I thought Christine was a better liar than that because an engagement you can like check if someone engaged was in, did he buy, did he buy you a ring? Um, and then here's where Christine fucked up. Davina was who you confided in. Oh, Christine, I thought you were better than this. I thought you was a better queen bee than this. I thought you'd been practicing long enough in your mirror to do better than this. Davina, First of all, apparently they didn't even know each other at the time, which makes, which does make sense. And two, she really thought Davina was just going to be like, yes, I guess that was also Christine's fault. Thinking that Davina was just going to do anything she says. That's normal people around her do. But I guess Davina wants, has her own person now. Maybe she wants to be her own self. She doesn't, but it didn't work out. She, that lie was shaky fake engagement. I know she was thinking on the spot, but I feel like Christine could have done something a little bit better than that. Something a little bit more solid. An, enga a, a, an engagement is a shaky lie. And then your only witness is somebody nobody likes and someone you don't, you didn't even know at the time. That, that's just, that's too shaky for someone I thought was, was the head bitch in charge. Sorry. And like, then she tried because of that. She's like, that's, she was like, I was trying, she, okay, whoa, that was four different sentences. I almost started. And seeing and using the like, is it, I don't know if that ring was my ring as her new way to get under Emma's skin was just ridiculous. Trying to make your relationship a bigger deal than it actually was. Like Emma didn't also actually date that guy and I'm sure they talked about you. I'm sure they talk about you because Emma was not Emma was not getting bothered at all. She wasn't even making any changes of her face, which I get. I guess if Emma had responded in any sort of way, Christine would have won. Even if Chris, if Emma had been like, "This is what everything you're saying is bullshit," she evoked a response out of Emma. So in Christine's head, she would have been like, "Oh, I won," and I guess Emma didn't want to give her that satisfaction. So okay, never mind, Emma. I'm happy you didn't speak. Christina's delusional. Christina's delusional and she has trickled down delusion to Davina. That's exactly how that relationship works. Trickle down delusion. 
She kept being like, you're, it, it's my ring, my ring. And every time she brought, every, she kept trying that lie multiple times. She kept trying that, well, I don't know if Emma has on my ring. And every single time somebody was like, no, that's not true. But she kept trying it. That's, at least she's persistent. At least she's persistent. She's persistently delusional and persistently usually good at fabric. I guess now there's just too many people who know the truth that she can't exactly spin any more lies. That's why she absolutely had to speak to everyone individually in the finale. Those are my thoughts on her. Still sad, still fabulous, always fabulous, never. That's how you be fabulous and insecure, Davina. That's how you do that. Those are my thoughts on Selling Sunset Season 4. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what would I like to see next season? Emma, what she gonna do? What she gonna do? I would like to see something. Two, I would like to see so her, Christine, being confronted about this fake engagement lie. Like, I want to see her confronted about it. More than what Mary, Mary opened, opened up the door. I need something to come rushing through the gate. I need her stuck. I, someone needs to get her stuck and she can't leave, so she has to respond. I need to see that. That's two. I don't give a shit about Jason and Chriselle, so I don't need to see that. In place of that, we could see pretty houses. More and more and more pretty houses. We could also hear more like from Vanessa about Vanessa. What does she want to get into the ring a little bit? We could hear more because um, I don't, I don't, I don't, because the tea of this season was a 10 year old relationship. If the tea of next season is Jason and Chriselle, no, that's not good television. <laughs> it can be a part of it, but that's not good television because I don't really care. And you know, I'm the most important, obviously, obviously. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Selling Sunset Season 4. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it made sense because I kind of was all over the place. And yeah, let me guys, let me guys, let me know. Where's my powder? <sighs> let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this season. Who is your favorite care? Oh shit, this is the wrong brush. Who is your favorite person? Who's your favorite realtor now? Mine. <sighs> Is Chriselle? I do like Mary now though. Well, so we have, to, I don't want to say anything because people just disappoint you after you say you're there, you're that they're your favorite. They'll go on and do some dumb shit. And um, Mary's done dumb shit before, so let me not, let me stop. Um, do you think Christine was sadder this season like I did? Because, ooh, it was, it was a little pathetic. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Let me know what you want to see in season five. And I hope that comes soon. Very, very, it looked like they already have it filmed. Release it. It, it, it feels like this was half a season. This, this season. It feels like this was half a season. Let's move faster next season. Let's jump more. Let's get, let's, let's add some spice. Thank you. All right, so that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to click the link in my description box or in the pinned comment to get a two-year plan plus an additional month free for a huge discount. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. Please get your booster shots. Please get your booster, please get your booster shot and your flu shot if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.